Champions today connect to Conexión Deportiva Nica so from Nicaragua. It's an honor to have you here. And, and yeah, so what does it mean to you to currently be the third player on the Mets with the most home runs behind Piri Alonso and Francisco Lindor? Uh, feels great. Feels great for sure. Um, just uh, just to be here and helping out my team win and and um, get to the ultimate goal, making it to the playoffs. So. I mean, it feels great for sure. Well, what is your next goal to achieve? Um, my next goal to achieve this season is to make it to the playoffs. And then after that, obviously, is to win it all. But um, I'm taking it step by step. I've learned throughout my career and, and just living life that patience is, is key to everything. I'm not really in a rush or I try not to be in a rush because as human beings, we want to rush everything. We want everything to happen right now, and I and I try to not rush things into happening. Um, which player from the MLB inspire you, and why? Alex Rodriguez. When I was little, I mean, Miami guy. I grew up in Miami. Um, grew up wanting to be like Alex Rodriguez, the swagger, the 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 way he played the game. He played it very smooth, and and. Um, I feel like my a lot of my game is is like that. It's just like easy and um, laid back, but competitive. Like I want to win. I'm a winner, and that's just how I play. So, who is the most challenging pitcher you have faced? Uh, Chris Sale with the Braves. Tough, really tough at bat. With your home runs, you have decided several games. We have seen that. Um, in the past games, what is the most important hit of your career as of now? Um, I think the most important one is the walk off, my first walk off home run this season. I think that just it's the most important because it meant the most to me. I feel like that was just a, an out of body experience, and I and it really meant a lot for sure. Yeah, let's get more personal work. Uh, who inspired you to play baseball when you were a child? My dad. My dad is the one that I give credit to. Um, he's kind of the one that still pushes me to this day. Days that I feel like, man, I don't want to do it. He tells me, hey, stop being soft. Keep going. Keep working hard. Uh, enjoy. Enjoy the moment. Uh, Speaking of Nicaragua, as a professional baseball player, how do you assess the level of a baseball in Nicaragua? I think it's. I think it's getting bigger for sure, right? I mean... I know a couple players in the major leagues. Um, I think it's only going to get better. I feel like hopefully um, I I motivate kids that I mean I'm a I'm, I'm I got Nicaraguan blood in me and and I'm here in the major leagues and I'm doing it and I and I know there's a bunch of kids in Nicaragua that are playing baseball that could do it too. Yeah. So, have you seen the construction of the three stadiums um, that are doing right now? Could be a MLB game there in Nicaragua. With this, I think that's just like the thing that's going on. A lot of uh, a lot of teams are going out of country to go play games, and whether it's in like Mexico or we just played in London, like I can see it happening in Nicaragua for sure. No, you can play for three teams. U.S., Dominican Republic, and Nicaragua. Uh -huh. If you get a chance to play with one of them, which one would you choose and why? Um, that's a tough question. I mean, it depends on where am I going to play, like, who am I playing with, who wants me to play in what position. Like, it's it, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of factors. I mean, it depends, really. But I wouldn't mind playing for, I think, the two, the two teams that I consider playing for is Nicaragua and, and Dominican Republic. But, um, and U.S., I mean, US, I could play for four teams, actually. But it really decides on where am I playing, for sure. A Nicaraguan player with the most home runs in a single season in the major leagues. So how does that make you feel? Incredible. I didn't even know that until a couple of weeks ago when um, another reporter came up to me and told me that. I mean, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. I didn't I didn't even know that. It's sick for sure. So finally, in Nicaragua, base in Nicaragua, the baseball is the king of the sports. So played by many children, teenagers, young adults. 
um, who try every day to secure the place in the major leagues. As an MLB player, what advice would you give to those teenagers, adults, to continue to achieve maybe one of, as a goal, you know, to be in the MLB one day? Uh, work hard, stay patient, um, stay focused, discipline is key. There's, there's, there's not one thing I can say. I feel like there's so many factors. This is, it's tough to, to get to this, to this point. Like I know a lot of kids say they want to make it to the major leagues, but they really got to sit down with themselves and ask themselves, are they mentally and physically ready to play in the major leagues? Because this isn't for everybody. This is, uh, they, as they call it, the dogs league. You got to be, you got to be different to play in this league because it's every single day and you're facing really good competition every single day. Mi gente de Nicaragua, yo soy Mark Vientos. Saludos.